Hi, I'm Debbie, and this is Stain, and we're the two creative travelers. In 2020, we got creative and sold everything. We packed what we had left into six suitcases, flew to Europe, and bought a car to start our life of slow travel. Come along with us as we explore, meet the people, eat the food, and immerse ourselves in the cultures, one destination at a time. <laughs> We're ready to hit the road. Off we go. <laughs> Today's day one of our road trip through Portugal. We left Ferragudo in the Algarve this morning and are driving today about two hours or so to the city of Beja. What do you think so far of the scenery, honey? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. These green rolling hills in this countryside is absolutely amazing. You see these farms like dotted still oh, yeah. all over the, the fields. Can't wait to get to Beja. We'll see you in Beja. Where are we going? I'm going to check out the castle. Castle? Let's, let's go. Let's go in the castle. They started construction on this castle in the 13th century. And it has 28 towers still standing here in this town. So it's the best preserved and most well-known monument in the town. Yeah, 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 we know. Yep. <laughs> Where did you come from? America? We're from America, and then I'm also from Belgium, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. You sort of said easy. And yeah. I want the one the map. It's possible can to visit another buildings, okay? Yeah, awesome. Wonderful. Okay, Thank thanks. you. Bye-bye. Obrigada. This entire facility is actually free. You can go in the tower, huh. walk on top of the walls, as well as uh, visit a contemporary arts museum that's right up here on the second story. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's, let's go check it out. Great views right here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go climb some castle walls. <laughs> Look at the stairs, they're so cool. Look at that little door. In I go. Where are you going? Up the staircase. It's interesting how they have these beams, these stone beams to support the roof structure. In the 13th century, they restarted construction on this uh, site, which had some ruins from the 4th century. And then in the 14th century, so 100 years or in the next century after they started, they started building what's called the keep, this tower that has three rooms that kind of all get smaller in size as they go up. And then there's actually another watch point that we can go to here in a little bit. But it's a great view. You can see uh, the fields surrounding the city. You can see the beautiful white houses with the, uh, the red roofs and really have a great vantage point for all the churches and chapels and everything like that that's all over the city. I just spotted something which is very typical for the 
Iberian Peninsula, so Spain, Portugal. Come over here. Right there. Oops. Right there. Ah, oh, let me zoom in. What are we zooming in on here? It's a bullfighting ring. Wow. It's a good thing you're not any whiter. Yeah. Okay, I'm a bit dizzy now. What we just showed you was this little bit right here, which is the castle itself and the, and the tower, the keep. But as you could tell in these black line, throughout or around most of the city, you have walls that still remain. There's a section missing here. And then you have the yellow numbers here, a bit hard to read, but they're essentially the gates into the city. You see these signs all over with the European flag on there. And what this indicates is that for the project, in this case, the renovation of this facility, or partly part renovation, that Europe helped fund some of this stuff. So it's cool to see them put money towards cultural um, heritage that then can be preserved in countries all over Europe. So everything in here is uh, made by uh, artists here in the area. And so I'm trying to pick something for, for me, or oh, maybe a gift for somebody out there. I really like these stork things. She was saying it's an older man from the area here that makes these. We're just moseying around the town now to try and find a place to eat. So. We're starting to see more and more places, so we'll have to pop it. <laughs> Obrigada! <laughs> After five months, we still have to use Google Translate to figure out the menu. <laughs> you can tell this isn't as touristy in areas because they don't have English menu, but which just, is adds to the experience. Right? Yeah, exactly. I kind of like the small towns. Yeah, yeah. It's great, yeah. This is a cool little... The, uh, the less uh, popular mm -hmm. um, destinations. Yeah, our waiter also doesn't speak any English, so it's another <laughs> sign. <laughs> So we've noticed there's no prices on the menu, so we're hoping we're getting a good deal for lunch today. <laughs> it's hard to find a bad deal in Portugal, though. That's true, so we're pretty confident we'll be okay with the prices. And guys, check out this glass that I have. It's tiny. It's like it holds, little. Yeah, it holds 20 centiliters, so it's just over half of the bottle next to it. So couvert is like an appetizer sort of uh, thing you can get in most places. Yeah. And has some sausage, has some ham, some cheese, has some compote I think, with like a, what do you call that, applesauce like a, sort of mm -hmm. thing, yeah. and then of course olives and I'm sure this is bread, looking wonderful, yeah. excited. Bon appetit. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, service, yes, go ahead, yes, yes, it's fine. <laughs> oh, he's going to serve us. Yeah, he was asking if he could ah, serve us. Ah, okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 
He makes it so pretty. Look at that. Yep. And what did you get, honey? Carne de alguidar. Say that again. Carne de alguidar, I think, is a pretty. It's a pork, another kind of pork. Okay. And fries. And some. Pineapple? Is this pineapple or abacashi? <laughs> yes. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Obrigada. Hey. Right. That See? looks delicious. It does. I don't know. I think mine looks better than yours. And what was mine? Cachado, cachaço and vinho tinto. Mm. Red wine. Right. Nice. Let's do it. What a wonderful day we had here in Beja today, our first stop on our road trip back up north through Portugal. It was a fun little place, uh, full of history with a castle and... Yeah, lots of churches. Mm -hmm. And one church I thought was cool because it was now being used as a gallery or a little venue where local craftsmen mm -hmm. can sell their, their yeah. goods. Yeah, that was so cute. And we had a great lunch on a beautiful square with yeah. lots of tile buildings around us. So good. Yeah, we've been told by others that the food only gets better as you go up further north, and this was a great start. So that's exciting because we love our food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow morning, we're going to get going in the direction of Sintra, mm -hmm. where we'll be staying at a beautiful resort. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to sharing what that looks like and yeah. feels like with you. Yeah. And just in general, Sintra is a beautiful place. And so. I don't know if we said, but where we're staying today is was actually, it's an old farm. Um, mm -hmm. uh, building and they've, they've made rooms here and stuff so this was really a cool place to stay we'll put their link down below right. um, to, for a stay here they have a swimming pool and breakfast thanks for joining us and um, we'll be back with more very soon we'll see you on the road bye bye